please be on YouTube channel. Welcome back to the Cletus McFarland channel everyone. Today we're going to be talking about the Bald Eagle Machine C7 Corvette that I personally own and love. I'm going to go about talking about its modifications, how we were able to pull about 900, well over 900 crank horsepower out of this here LT1, made 841 wheel horsepower, and uh, I'm going to talk about the power adder I have on my car, other supporting modifications I did to make so many Bald Eagles be, uh, you know, just unleash power out of this here Corvette so uh, let's get started first things first I get asked all the time what's the first modification I should do to my car and I tell people if you want to make some real horsepower you're gonna need a power adder power adders means turbos superchargers nitrous something like that and for my car I chose Pro Charger so what Pro Charger is it's a centrifugal supercharger and it's belt driven, kind of looks like a turbo, commonly mistaken for one because they have a similar compression housing, but it's a belt driven supercharger. So when I first bought the C7 here back in 2014, I waited just a few months and uh, decided that I needed myself a Pro Charger. I got the i1 Pro Charger. So I've later moved on to the F1A Pro Charger that's currently on the car. As you can see, she's pretty gorgeous. I went with the chrome blower with a black bracket. Everything else is pretty much hidden as far as the intercooler and stuff. I'm also running the Pro Charger intake manifold. That's for the higher horsepower guys. Once you get up into the higher levels of boost, you need a tougher intake manifold versus the stock plastic one. So when you're making all this boost, you're going to need some fuel. And uh, the stock Corvette fuel systems do pretty well for themselves. I still have the stock fuel pump and stock injectors. But what I do have is methanol. Methanol basically super cools your induction. It's a really high octane fuel. I'll, put, I'll say it as a fuel extender because it goes, it basically assists your stock fuel system and uh, you know adds to the ability of the car to make more power. And that really helped with things. It makes the car just run so much better, especially when you get into those high RPMs. You really don't want to run out of fuel and you're going to need methanol. So like I said, I had a smaller Pro Charger and moved to a bigger one. When we moved to the bigger one, we also put a cam in my car, and uh, sounds pretty rowdy as you can hear. Cam helps with airflow. Basically, you need one to further, you know, go past anywhere around 650, 700 horsepower. And the car still drives great, you know, during normal driving conditions. It just sounds a lot rowdier and uh, makes a lot more power. We also did the trunnion kit on my heads. That's just kind of to make your uh, stock C7 heads a little bit safer. Lastly, I do have a nitrous system. I've got a nitrous outlet plate hidden in there. And uh, yeah, it's actually kind of pretty obvious. And that goes along with a tank in the back. Unfortunately, we can't use my nitrous. Well, we could, it's all hooked up, but because I'm on stock internal, we don't really want to grenade the engine until we're a little bit closer to me getting my ERL engine, which uh, should be around March. And we're gonna be going for like 1400 horsepower. Well, 12 to 1400 horsepower, we'll say with that and uh, then we'll really be doing it for Dale. When you have all this power, it's hard to make it usable unless you have a tire on your car. I have an r plate in the back. It's a 315, so it's pretty wide. Additionally, I have myself some drag radials. We got some Mickey Thompson ET Streets on a C5Z wheel, and those will help you hook up at the track or on the street. So when you have all that air and fuel coming into your car, you obviously need a good exit for it. On my car, I've got Cooks 1 and 7 8 inch headers, and I've also got a Cooks X pipe, and then I've got a Magnaflow Competition Series axleback exhaust, and uh, that's got the big four tips. It's kind of your classic Corvette look. It looks awesome. We did melt the tips with a little bit of fire, and I had to repowder coat them. They're flat black now. It looks pretty good. And uh, my whole entire exhaust under the car and all the way up to the headers is wrapped in Heat Shield Products Lava Wrap which uh, just helps with keeping the underside of the car and the wiring and all that stuff in check, keeping the heat in where it needs to be. All right, guys, so now you have the gist of what's done to the C7 here. We got a Pro Charger, a cam, the Pro Charger intake manifold, some nitrous that we don't use, 
methanol, and uh, an exhaust. Basically, that's it. Plus a badass tune by Jeremy at Faster Proms, and that has pulled this car together to make 841 wheel horsepower, which is way over 900 at the crank. And man, it runs fast as hell, and it does it for Dale. See ya. Hey, hey.